Let's uh, put your hands together for, uh, for Auntie and Wei and the team. The Slush team has put this amazing show together. It's here for them. Thank you, guys. So I just want a quick shout out to my partner, Aika Kumamoto, for telling me about this opportunity at Slush, uh, to Auntie and Wei and the team for putting this together and the invitation. So I, I absolutely love Japan. I love Tokyo. And uh, I'm here today to tell you about the, uh, the living room on wheels when cars become more than mere transport. That's what I'm here to talk to you about. And I'm also here to tell you a story about how the company I founded, Clear Motion, based out of Boston in the US, uh, was inspired partly by a trip I made to Tokyo uh, back in 2011 on the Shinkansen train. Who here, we're all looking forward to autonomous cars. We're all looking forward to getting into, out of our apartment into an autonomous car, going to Ji-chan's house without anyone in the driver's seat. We're all looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that, but I know for certain that the trip to Ji-chan's house in an autonomous car is not going to be what I need it to be because of this situation here. This is a trip I had in Manhattan just a couple days ago. And as you can see here, it's no Shinkansen experience. Thumbs down, it's not so great. Think about this for a second. We, in cars, every year, the average human being spends approximately seven working weeks behind the wheel of a car. Let me repeat. Seven working weeks we spend stuck driving cars every year. That time, seven working weeks is, at best, unproductive, at worst, nauseating. We get motion sick. And so we think about a world in which we're sitting in the car, we're bored, we're unproductive, we're nauseous, we're unsafe. And I think about a world of autonomy that the biggest single promise of autonomy, other than the number of lives that it's going to save, is the amount of time that it will unlock. The productivity gain in autonomy that's coming to, towards us, okay? The robo-taxi business is not too far away. This is a little picture. There's 22 billion hours that we waste in cars today. Let's just assume $25 an hour in, 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 in value. And let's just make another assumption of 90% productivity. This is a Morgan Stanley assessment. It's about a half a trillion dollars in wasted productivity that can be clawed back. But the big assumption is 90% productivity. Clear Motion is a company that I founded out of my dorm room at MIT. I was a student at MIT in 2009, and we were dreaming up crazy ideas about where the car industry was headed, and autonomy wasn't really a thing back then. But in 2011, 2012, I happened to be in Manhattan. I happened to be experiencing roads like that. Mobileye was, a, was an Israeli company filing to go public, working on software for autonomous cars. Uber had raised a very large amount of money, and I said to myself, what change is happening in the business of moving people? I would love to be a part of this, would love to play in the white space, would like to make our mark on it. And this was the vision of the company. We want to build a product that improves the quality of time in the car. And I want to actually just go right into what we've built. So what we're going to show you here is the best cars in the world going over this bump strip. Look at the human, look at the driver behind the, the wheel of the car, and I want to show you the clear motion system. The same car with our technology in it. This is a 5 Series BMW Passive from the dealership, and the same car with clear motion. advanced systems in the world. Passive and clear
So there you have it. In the event you have this problem that you need to solve, you need to transport champagne from one place, we can help you with that. No problem. So there you have it, guys. Clear motion. Five years of work of my team and I in Boston producing the world's first and only high bandwidth proactive ride system. So what you just saw there was a system that essentially combines the best of two worlds. The ultimate sports vehicle, the ultimate comfort vehicle. And it takes two opposite worlds and puts them into one car. And essentially how it does it is it, much like noise canceling headphones, cancel the noise going into your ears. The system we've designed does the same exact thing for motion. It cancels the unwanted motion going into a car. And then when we talk about the living room on wheels, we talk about the mobile office, we talk about billions and billions of hours that we're trying to bring back and make productive. Our vision is that the clear motion system delivers that high-speed train experience that we all would love to have. So a little history into the system. It was invented in Formula One, Active Ride. It was so incredibly good on Formula One cars that it got banned in F1. Uh, this is the 1987 uh, uh, Lotus car driven by Art and Senna. And it was so fast. I mean, the, the, the vehicle was so fast in the corners. It was, so, um, it was so capable with the aerodynamics that the teams that had it were so much more competitive than the rest, and the races were boring to watch. After Formula One invented the system in the uh, in 1980s, all the main auto manufacturers have been trying to push active suspension into the market for the last 30 years. And so for reasons that, follow in the f that, that, that f fall into the fo following buckets, the systems are too power hungry, the systems are too heavy, the systems are too costly, and ultimately, even if they solve these problems, they were, very, they were, they were, they were just not, not, not impressive enough. We at Clear Motion sat down and said, the, t the technology is so amazing. When you get used to this product in a car and you drive a car with proactive ride, your body stops moving. It really, really does feel like you're on rails. And as I thought about the history and how many people have tried to do this, I told my team, we need to run towards the gunfire. We need to be able to make the system affordable and practical in production cars. Now, beyond driving cars, the autonomous piece of this is really the holy grail. And this is a picture from General Motors. As you know, there's a, bit of a, there's a bit of a battle going on in the US right now, especially in San Francisco, where the streets of San Francisco are completely uh, I mean, replete with autonomous vehicle testing. General Motors has listed out this priority stack. Get me there safely, table stakes. Get me to exactly where I want to go, table stakes. And thereafter, get me there smoothly, get me there cheaply, get me there quickly, and entertain me. So when we think about what all the autonomous guys are working on right now, the first two pieces, clear motion, we very much look forward to piece number three, which is where we sit. So a little window into how we've built this and how it works. What you're looking at is the corner of a car. Clear motion lives in the suspension of a car. And it completely, it, it, it takes an analog relationship we have with the road and digitizes that relationship. So that software controls our relationship to the road and we have ourselves a, an experience that's completely isolated from the road when we want, connected to the road when we want. The technology, as I said, was a, was a, was a brainchild of a late night late night session in our dorm room. A lot of great ideas happened to come out of dorm rooms and fortunately, you know, the team and I at MIT had this idea to create a mini power pack that clips onto a damper and the damper becomes a computer controlled actuator that can push and pull, much like noise canceling headphones for motion. And that's how the product looks like and it sits in the suspension of the car. There are four of these in each car, one at each corner. And a little animation of how it works. When we again look at how many people have tried to do this, many, many decades, many billions of dollars, almost every single auto manufacturers have tried. How do we 
five guys in a dorm room figure out how to square the circle? How do we figure out how to circumnavigate the challenges? We did that thanks to a very, very unique architecture that we call the clear motion active valve. And this is inside that power pack. Inside this guy, if we were to open up that device on the side, this is what it breaks down into in three main pieces. The, all the control electronics and control software, the, uh, the BLDC motor, and on the right, it's an electrohydraulic core. It, this is the beating heart of what we've designed at, uh, at, at Clear Motion. And again, when we think about the digit, the, the, really the foundation of autonomy, the foundation is the digital chassis. It's allowing software to control our relationship to the road. It allows for the ultimate riding and driving experience. It allows for dynamics in the corners. It allows for haptic feedback where, it, where you can create virtual rumble strips. Ingress and egress for those who have difficulty getting into vehicles. Mapping and localization. This is now the new frontier for us as we move forward. A very, very exciting thing we've now started to develop in concert with a very large technology company is the mapping of all road surfaces in the United States. We, thanks to the high fidelity sensors that we have, we're actually mapping the roads that we drive over and creating a virtual fingerprint of those roads. So it turns out that if you go over that same segment of road, we actually can pinpoint the location of the car very precisely based on the fingerprint of the road. And so think of it like Braille, except for localization, that, there, that the sense of touch is what we've introduced into clear motion. If you were to remove GPS, remove vision, remove LIDAR, remove radar, remove it all, you still have the sense of touch to know where you are on a road surface at any given time. And a little uh, animation that we have here that, uh, that shows these two white lines down here are actually the, 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 the contours of the road surface that are being measured. The red is when we know we're in the vicinity of an event that's very distinct. When you hit a pothole, you hit a manhole cover, you hit a bridge divider, it's very distinct. And when you hit the green, the green says, boom, that's exactly where you are. We know exactly where, and we, pin, you know, we pin, pinpoint the location of the vehicle. This is a very important piece for autonomy, localization, simultaneous localization and mapping. So put it all together, we have the, 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 the user experience that really is king for living room on wheels that everyone is going to come to expect, that we can read, we can work, we can sleep, we don't get motion sick. And at the same time, we're taking all of this data from the road sur surface, pushing it into the cloud, and using that as a topographical layer, a very high fidelity layer of data to create high definition maps in excess of what, we're, what, what, what a lot of companies are doing right now. And in the last couple minutes, I'll just close with you know, some of our work here in Japan. I spend, I'm spending increasing and increasing amounts of time in Japan with uh, really some amazing technology partners of ours. Uh, most notably Bridgestone, and uh, we've created a, a, a broader vision now that goes beyond just, you know, right comfort and right handling. It now is from tire to human. We want to create from tire to human the, 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 to, to really control the, the, the neurological response of what we're feeling in the road, and to do that all the way up from the road surface through the tire and into the human body. And if you understand human physiology and human anatomy like we've gone to that extent, we can all have a very exciting future to look forward to in autonomy. Again, we think it's, it's so important to take that analog relationship we have with the road today and digitize that. And in order to digitize it, we need to be able to sense it. We need to understand the path from input into human and we need to erase it. Do for motion with noise canceling headphones, do for noise. And that is a vision that we set about you know, five years ago, have really just put our heads down, pencil sharp, trying to figure out how to make this in a commercially viable form, employ 200 people in Boston to do this, raise the capital. It's, it's, really, the, it's really the startup story, and it's really the grit, it's the vision, it's the passion of a team of very capable people I'm very fortunate to work with every day and partners that are, are also just really outstanding. We cannot do this alone. In the business of moving people, 
We have to, in the ecosystem of automotive, the, the, the what's happening in this, I mean, for those of you that are looking to participate in the change in automotive and mobility, I can tell you there's never been a more exciting, I mean, there's very few industries as exciting as automotive is what's happening today. And, uh, and like I said, you know, it's all about the people, it's all about the partners, and it's all about that vision that's crisp, it's clear, we're all pulling on the same end of the rope, and we look forward to participating and contributing our, our piece of the story of what we're all about to enjoy. So I, I, I wanna just take one last minute here to, to thank you all again for your time, your attention. Thank you so much. Thank you uh, to Auntie, and thank you to Slush Team for, for having me very much. I really appreciate it, and uh, wishing you guys all the best. I look for, I'll be here at uh, Slush for this afternoon, so please come find me if, if any questions or interest in, in mobility and automotive. I'd love to talk to you. Thank you so much, guys. Arigato gozaimasu.